welcome back to our next video in this video we will be seeing how we can create context menu using angular and doing the custom all custom code for the pop-up okay so as you can see this is my simple list page where i am showing the user list one way is to have all the buttons like edit delete download what are the buttons we need on the particular row in the last column okay another way is like on right click i can have this pop-up and where I can pick the current selected data. Let's say if I'm clicking on the linear Graham record on click of delete, see, I can get the that record. Let's click on Patrika. I can get the Patrika record. Same as it is, let's click on edit. So it will navigate to that page. Okay. So this is what the context menu is. So you don't have to go with the edit button, delete button. So you can have n number of options in your context menu. Okay, this comes up with, uh, let's say Prime Engine library is there. They also provide it. Sync Fusion libraries, they also provide it. But rather than using the third party library, because again, they have, we have to integrate their code. Again, their limitation will be there like CSS and color. What we need might not be as per uh, their library. Okay, so it's always a better way to custom the code because you have control over all it. Okay, let's say from CSS to what are the tags you need. As you can see currently I have added icons. So you can add images also, your customs also, anything. Okay, so that is the best way how we develop the custom components. Okay, so let's see the implementation. Okay, first the pop-up. This is one variable where I am. I will be storing my CSS. So you can see in this variable, this function I have called. So this function I have called on the TR, complete TR. That is mouse of event. And on detect layer, detect route mouse, a click event we have called. Then we have passed the event and the current row, current user. Okay, because we are going to need the current wherever on which row user has clicked the right click. Okay, that's why we are sending user. So that we are using here. We have just created one variable because we need to store that. Okay. If because we need to check like right click is clicked or not. So that's why event dot which is equal to three. If you click on the right side of the mouse, you will get three value. If it is three, then only we are assigning this CSS. CSS is pretty simple. Display block, position absolute, left and the top PX because we need to open the uh, context menu where user has clicked. So that's why we are getting event. So from that event, we are extracting client X and client one, which will give us the left and the top position. Okay. So you can see once we click, we have got the top and the left and it is open here. Okay. Now this is about the variable where we are creating CSS, but this should go in HTML. It's a simple view. You can see it's a simple div with ng style whatever the style we select okay if we clicked on the outside when close context method is there in that we are just making that uh, just we are changing the css of this variable to display none that's it so our pop-up will be hidden when we detect the right click it is displaying block and when we move away from that tooltip it will again display none so just the css what we are adding to that pop-up okay this pop-up is nothing like but the bootstrap model whoever has used the bootstrap model this is the same concept we are just showing and hiding the pop-up just the logic is we have to open that pop-up wherever we have clicked okay so i will show you the css and the these are the links we have in that uh, context pop-up as number of menus you can have just like i have clear uh, written event on view and the delete okay so and one thing if you can observe like i'm not getting when i'm clicking right click i'm not getting the normal context menu which we get that we have disabled on index page using this property on context return is equal to false so it will disable whatever the traditional context menu we get okay let me remove this save okay see if i'm getting this now 
so i can i'm, I'm getting two one from the browser and one from my custom one so that's why we don't need the browser one context menu that's why we need to disable it like this okay so let me show you the css these are the simple css just position absolute background color mid width what we need then box shadow jail index okay and then you can see ul is there ul and li this is you can design as per your requirement i have designed as per my menu is there then anchor tag i have taken cursor flow padding everything width 100 percent color on the hover i'm getting some color and uh, text color is getting blue see on the hover text color is getting blue and getting a background color that is gray okay so this is what the implementation implementation you have to do when you work with uh, angular and you need like a custom context menu okay so this is everything what you need to do just one more thing like this method close context menu you need to call on the ng on it because if you don't call this that context menu will always be available because that is just a simple div right so you can see it is visible so we just need to hide it so that's why on the page on it we are closing that pop-up so this was a short video this is again the same context menu thank you and please do subscribe and like the videos.